Magic circles are the stupidest things I ever heard of. Why do I say this? Because as a person who has have uh, who has had a lot of experience with evocations, invocations, you know, I, I I think that I have all the reason in the world to basically speak about this. When you trace or make a veve, that is basically evoking. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you write on parchment paper, you know, that is evoking. You are basically calling the spirit down. You know what I'm saying? Now, when the hell have you seen in any voodoo ceremony or African-based tradition where, you know, the practitioners make a circle around themselves? They, you don't see that. They move freely. You know what I'm saying? Now, one can argue and say that, well, that's why the people get possessed. Let me explain something. The circle itself cannot help you. Now, on the subject of the people get possessed, they willfully allow it. There's so much things you can actually link yourself to it in, the, in your environment. It's all what you allow. So, you know, really it has nothing to do with a circle protecting you. Because a circle cannot protect you. Here it goes. If Shango is a king of fire, if Oya is of, let's just say, wind, you have uh, Agwitawayo in voodoo, Haitian voodoo, which is of the sea. Do you think a circle can protect you from a tidal wave? Can you? Do you think a circle can protect you from a house burning down while you're inside of it? Let's use common sense here. I would say casting a circle around yourself comes from novice, people who, who do not understand how spirit works. You know? I mean, black people have been doing this thing for centuries and when you look at the work we that many of our ancestors left behind you don't see any mention of those people talking about magical circles or casting a circle around themselves this is foolishness this is fuckery you know what I'm saying this is things that immature people who don't un understand how spirit works do you know when you work with spirits you begin to realize that the spirits they can contact you anytime they want now to say their interaction with this world there are certain things that you can do to block their influences there are certain things that you can do to allow them to come into the world but it basically with a circle casting a circle around yourself or casting a circle around it that's not going to block it at all, period. And if you're trying to get the spirit to do something, you know what, let us play this. An evocation is no different from a prayer. You know what I'm saying? When you're praying, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, when you're praying and whatever it is whatsoever, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's pretty much an evocation. You know what I'm saying? So when you're talking about this medieval thing of having a spirit appear before you, you're not going to see none of that. The spirit is all around you. It is manifested to a series of creatures, humans, and circumstances. So you're not going to find, you know, uh, basically, to talk about binding a spirit, you know, you then you talk, then you have to bind a, a plethora of things in the world, and it's almost impossible. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, I just wanted to address this video, you know, address this topic in this video. With that said, I gotta run. Thank you guys for watching.